I've fallen a little behind on responding to notifications for YouTube as well as uh, making videos. So I'm going to make a really quick tutorial now while I have a chance. Um, this tutorial is going to be in regards to DNS or do domain name servers. Um, it's rather basic. All we're going to do here is set up a static IP address and um, specify a DNS outside um, the range of your ISP or um, like your router. Uh, what this, what a, what a DNS does, a domain name server does, is basically when you're entering a URL address, like if you open your web browser and you want to go to google.com, you have to type in that address and it has to resolve to an IP address. And that's essentially what a DNS does, is when you um, enter an address, contacts the DNS, DNS shoots it back an IP address, and from there you can communicate. Um, it may not seem like that big a... Like, you know, changing your DNS may have that big of an impact, but you got to realize a lot of these websites, you have images from all sorts of different websites. So it does, it can give a significant speed impact, um, increasing performance um, and network speed. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. I've also taken the time to write up a quick batch file um, to automate this process for everyone. Uh, if you're, if you just, you just want to kind of go through this um, and not have to have all these windows open and whatnot, I've, like I said, I made a little batch file here which automates the entire process pretty much. And I'll make that available for anyone that wants to try it. But let's go ahead and start from um, beginning as though there's not a script we can use. First things first is we want to open up the um, your command prompt. And that will be left click on start. Then in the run field type in CMD. Press enter. And you have your black terminal window here. Within the uh, command prompt you're going to type in ipconfig to display your IP address. Now some of you already may have an IP address assigned statically. Uh, a lot of you may just have it set up automatically. Um, in either case, what we're going to do is set up, we need to have a static IP set up so we can specify the DNS. So first thing first is actually, rather than IP config, we're going to do IP config slash all. And that's going to give us all the information regarding our IP address and whatnot. If you go to your main local area connection adapter within there, you're going to see an IPv4 address, or it may just be listed as IP address. Um, we also see some DNS servers and a default gateway and subnet mask. And that's going to be the information we're going to need in this case. So once you have that, just leave that open and then go to your start control panel and network and internet connections. And depending on how you set up, it may differ. But ultimately, we're going to go to the um, your network connections, your adapter settings. From here, you want to locate your um, active adapter, your network adapter. Right click on it, go to properties. And from within properties, we're going to go to internet protocol version 4. Just left click on that and select properties. And in here you can see that you can uh, either have your IP address obtained automatically or you can specify it manually. Now um, if it is set to automatically, go ahead and select the radial button next to uh, use the following IP address so we can set up a static IP. But anyways, um, once you have that checked, we want to go and start inputting this information that we found in the uh, command prompt. So let's see. That's going to be my adapter right here. So you want to put in the IP address. Uh, for mine, I see 192.168.0.114 because that's what I have statically assigned. You can go and put that whatever you see that appears for you there. Or you can um, also just change it up a little bit. Like if it's ending in 110, just make it 112 or something like that. The subnet mask should be pretty much the same. It's going to be 255, 255, 255, 0. And that's going to be specified within your command prompt as well. And the default gateway, that should show for you as well here. And you can just input those values. And once you've done that, you pretty much have a static IP address. Now, a local static IP address. Um, this is just for within the, uh, the LAN, the local area, area network. But people on the outside will still see your external IP address. Now, once that's done, this is the part where we can actually do some enhancement. As far as the uh, following DNS servers to use, you'll see a DNS server already listed here. Most likely, that's the one provided by your ISP. But there are several public DNS servers out there that offer a higher cache rate and just have a um, better performance than that of your ISP. Uh, two, the two main ones we're going to work with are either the Google DNS servers or the um, Open, D Open DNS, I believe it is. Um, I'll put all that information into the um, video descript description as well. Right now, I already have my DNS configured to that of the Open DNS. So in here, you can just input this exact same IP address if you want to try Open DNS. And that's going to be 208-67-222-222. And alternate, it's going to be pretty much the same, except ending in zeros rather than two for the last two characters. And once it's done, you just simply click OK, close, and you're set. You can pretty much just browse using your static IP address. And you should see, um, I mean, you may, you may or may not notice the increase right away. Um, I mean, it varies. You can also, one thing I recommend is 
you know, going out and looking for uh, public DNSs, you can find a whole listing on um, Google if you do a search for it. And just give them a try, because some do perform better than others. And that's another reason I made the script here. See, if we um, execute this batch, you'll see here um, we have a few basic settings that I've made. Um, and I made this script just for this purpose, for you all to um, just test DNS. Um, for instance, I, um, I may want to set up a static IP address, and I don't, want, I don't know all the commands and all the information. I can just press 1 to view connection information, and it'll spit out my IP address. So now I can just note that down. I already know what my IP address is. And I can also do a, a NetBIOS, look at my remote cache table, see um, my MAC address and whatnot. And I can also do an IP config all just by pressing Enter. And once that's all done, let me continue. I can just uh, test my network settings, go back to start menu, whatnot. Um, the the major benefit of this script here is when you use DNS, um, you want to kind of hop between trying to find one that works for you. And in the process, you want to do some testing. Um, within testing, I mean uh, pinging, uh, doing uh, lookups, uh, not necessarily trace routes. Those really won't be applicable, but just seeing the resolution time with the DNS and your, your system. And right here in the tasks available, um, I have an option where you can configure your DNS. So if I were to go here, I could set my DNS to that of um, open DNS. So I'll just put in 208. 67222222, hit enter, and yeah, I'll go ahead and set up an alternate, alternate DNS, and I'll set that to 208.67.220.220, okay, and um, this will automatically flush my DNS as well as re-register my DNS for me, so that takes care of it, and now that I'm here, I'm like, okay, I have this new DNS set up, let me go and test the speed, so I press 1, and from here, I'm going to go, it's going to start performing some ping tests to a variety of sites. And it's also going to do some NS lookups to, um, so you can um, measure the actual resolution time with the uh, URL and IP address. Now, once these tests are performed, it's going to be written to a log file, which is in the same directory. So I can look at that log file and see the statistics, all the information um, from this change. And after doing so, I can change my DNS to something else and then perform the same test and basically compare and see which one's faster. And right here it says test has been complete. So I can just open up this log file here. And I'll see here I've done um, three pings, one to Google, Facebook, and Yahoo, up to about six times. So you can just see the um, response times. And then um, also here I, got, I did some uh, NS lookups. And you'll see the current time. And it pastes the current time afterwards. So basically you can compare the uh, time from the some, submitting the actual URL address to resolve into an IP address. But yeah, that's that's essentially it. Um, really basic stuff. Um, like I said, some people know, a lot of people know about it, but then again, a lot of people don't. And um, I've been falling behind a little bit here, so I feel a little guilty. So I just want to make a really quick tutorial, and I hope that proves useful to some y'all. And I will be getting up on all those notifications and responding back to them probably this weekend. So look forward to that. And also... Um, I have that whole listing of uh, tutorial requests I plan on getting on as well. I already have a few prioritized that I plan on tackling. I've just been kind of busy and distracted lately. So hope you all enjoy and uh, have a great day. Peace. Mushroom Hatbangers. Subscriber. Uh, uh, well, die. <laughs>